The first drill is pass and trap, where you pass using the inside, outside, and instep of your foot, and trap with the sole, inside, and outside of your foot. Begin close to ultimate goal. As you get better, move farther away, putting more power and speed on your passes. With one-touch passing sparring, you start close to ultima goal and rapidly pass using the inside, outside, sole, toe, and heel of your foot. This develops touch, speed, reflexes, and stamina. With dribble pass control, you go side to side, dribbling the ball, wall passing to ultima goal, trapping the ball, and then performing a dribble move to go in the opposite direction. This drill develops passing, controlling, and dribbling. Foot trapping develops your aerial ball control using the instep, inside, and outside of your foot. You should bring the ball as quickly to the ground as possible, minimizing bounce. This drill allows you to trap and control the ball using your head, chest, and thigh. Once again, you want to bring the ball to the ground as quickly as possible, minimizing bounce. When volleying with Ultima Goal, you want to use the instep, inside, and outside of your foot. This will develop your touch for the ball. Your goal is to volley as many times as you can without the ball touching the ground. Shielding is an essential skill that is often overlooked. Practice keeping your body between the ball and ultima goal. You should practice going forward and backward as well as changing direction. Dribble toward ultima goal, practicing any of the seven moves on this DVD. No option retreat, one step feint, two step feint, feint and spin, step over change of direction, behind the back dribble, spin and dribble. Be sure you keep the ball under you. Also, use your upper body to get the defender to bite on your fake. You may want to begin with lunges as this is a basic but very effective move.
practice kicking the ball at the lower half of the net on ultima goal and heading the ball back to the ultima goal. Be sure your eyes are open and teeth are clenched when heading the ball. When practicing heading, you can get many reps in a short period of time by kneeling and heading the ball into Ultima Goal or using the Ultima Goal heading plane. You will want to practice the in-step drive shot until you are able to make perfect strikes on net. Be sure you can strike with both feet. Use the step back method once you are consistently striking Ultima Goal close up. Since you don't strike a ball standing still in a game, you will want to practice dribbling and then striking ultima goal. Be sure you are using proper technique when striking the ball. Use the step back method once you are skilled striking the ball close to ultima goal. Dribble the ball going sideways. Once you get to ultima goal, rebound the ball 10 times. Dribble sideways back to your starting point, then jump over the ball 10 times. This drill will leave you exhausted, developing muscles, stamina, and skill while giving you a good cardiovascular workout. Your workout is complete, except for doing some cool down stretches and exercises. Very few players will be able to do the entire workout well, so if you should struggle, don't get discouraged. Keep practicing and you will soon be able to do the drills well. This youth training program is a platform to develop your soccer skills. As you master the drills in the youth training program, substitute some of the other drills in this video to become a complete player, such as volley shots, bending shots, redirect headers, and so on. You can also create your own drills with Ultima Goal to take your game to a whole new level, like working on tackling, scissors kicks, and more. Just combine the knowledge in this video with a soccer ball and Ultima Goal and your desire and you will become a great soccer player.